My name is Annie Kirkman and I'm part of She Productions uh, with a company in residence at the East Riding Theatre and we've been working on a brand new musical called It's Different for Girls since 2015. It's inspired by an original 60s band from Hull called Mandy and the Girlfriends. Um, Karen Wilkinson used to be Karen Baker and I was the organist which is keyboard now in Mandy and the Girlfriends. I'm Hillary and I play the drums. My name's Leslie and I'm a bass player. And they were one of the first ever girl bands around, played all the instruments. Uh, so we've met up with these ladies that are in their 70s now and they've told us their story. We're using their words and snippets of their story to create a new show. We've got a fictional narrative and, and a fictional band, but essentially the essence of the whole piece is, is about them. We were an all-girl band. We had Mandy, who was a singer, and then there was four girls who played instruments. Me and Leslie always wanted to play. We, got, we couldn't play. And we just thought, oh, wouldn't it be good to have a girl band? And then, of course, we'd so Monday. And then next thing you knew, we just got together for a tour. Went from there, 1965. We worked with um, quite big names as well, like Max Wall, when we did the cabaret scene. And um, we did the Roots at Brick House and the Fiestas. Uh, which in them days, and the Wakefield Theatre Club, which were big, you know, but we just travelled the whole of the country. Mandy's mum and Dennis's mum, she had um, a florist van that we started off driving around in when we were just three of us in an organ and a vox, you know, that sort of thing. So we, we just loved every minute. We, we loved rehearsing. We loved, um, I mean, sometimes we were out six nights a week. One of those nights would be rehearsing, but we'd be out six nights a week and then get up for work the next day. Um, but we loved it. Because we all had full-time jobs. So if we were getting home at two o'clock in the morning from doing a Sheffield club, we were still getting up to get the bus to go to work. I think it was like a dream come true. It's like something young girls only dream about. And for us it had come true. As a company we feel very strongly about writing original shows. This will be an original musical. Some of the numbers we have pulled from 60s songs and tweaked them a bit and added our own version. If people who know us go and see the show and they're expecting to see a revival of Mandy and the Girlfriend, no, it's not like that. It's theatre and it's as it should be and I think well done to them, I think it's great. I think it's incredible that the girls as well are actually going to play the instruments live and they are doing what we did all those years ago actually going to play them, you know, learning them. I mean, what a wonderful thing at our ages. You know, we've got young girls who want to base, base something on, on what we did. Because we're all like, you know, 70s, you know. I'm 70 this year, Leslie will be 70 next year, and I can't believe it. I never thought 50 years on I'd be sat here and all this is going on 50 years later. Sing when the 